Hi, this is Tim O'Leary, director of the What's the Story program. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go through some basic moves um, to go from the end of a film to a polished end of the film with credits and some music um, to help uh, go into that transition and play through the credits and then kind of help end the actual very end of your film. Uh, Loaded in this editor is actually a, a pretty simple uh, tutorial I did on slight sound editing in, in What's the Story. This is how it ends right now degree and how to use the reduce noise feature uh, both super important to your video right not super exciting you know it's very basic but if that was the end of like a longer documentary i'd want to have more finality i'd want music um clearly a lot of credits right i, I gotta talk about uh, who was in the film like what kind of music or media i used um put a copyright with my name on it give give thanks those kinds of things uh, you'll see a link to this in the description of the video, but here's just like a generic um, list of what you could put in some film credits, right? Director's name, produced by, often those are the same person uh, in a film like this, so you might just have one line there. Did you write narration? Who read it? Uh, cinematography, right? Who, who was doing the filming or helped with the filming? Who did the editing? um music right there's a lot you know did you make music did you go find music um you might not have any of these and that's okay you might just get some music credits and you're gonna have the song title the artist um at least um and you're probably gonna have this one used by permission um if you go to my favorite source for free um royalty free music um you're gonna go to youtube.com backslash audio library and you're gonna end up looking at this um so if you use a song from here which i'm gonna use you're gonna say use by permission from youtube uh, audio library got different songs special thanks maybe you had some technical support did you borrow equipment um did somebody help you out you you could always dedicate this to a cause or, or a particular person or people and then you might just put the year right in your name. Everything naturally has a copyright. Um, this is just kind of uh, extra, I, I guess. Uh, so we're going to use this. We're going to use our project here. And then I'm going to use a song from YouTube uh, uh, Audio Library. I uh, just looked at this nature, nurture. There's nothing special about it, but I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Go over here and download. Uh, if you're not familiar with the site, you can preview here. Right, and then you can download. There's lots of cool ways you can search in the library for length of uh, length of song, uh, effects, feel. Um, it's a super great source with thousands and thousands of uh, pieces of good music, and then there's sound effects too. If you if you haven't done that, uh, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna upload that song I just found. Um, so it's there. I'm going to go find some text. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Where do I want to go? Titles, captions. I just want some basic sample text. Maybe I'm, maybe it's going to be here. Sample title. Yeah, let's go with something easy. None of this stuff that's like all color, colorful. Uh, if we want color, we, we can do it later. So I'm going to drag it, pop it over here. I'm going to go in here and uh, I'm going to just select delete. I'm going to downsize this really far. I can adjust later, but let's try, I don't know, 40. It doesn't like that. Four zero. All right, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna just whatever you do your credits, write it out in a Google Doc ahead of time. Don't don't type it out in the editor. That's kind of a mess. I'm gonna select this all. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna go over here, and then I'm just gonna paste it in. Right. Um. Ooh. Um. I'm going to select all and make this much smaller, maybe like 20. I'm trying to get that size right. All 
So that looks okay. Um, I would go through here and kind of space these things out. So title, you know, a production, uh, you know, directed by, produced by, written by, all oh, these are gonna have that kind of its own line. You can see it on the editor here. For the sake of time, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, if I want to use more of the screen, which I probably do here, I'm gonna drag these around. Um, if I want to make sure they're centered, I can use this grid. It can help me a little bit. It's not the easiest thing. Um, but to make sure this is centered, the easiest way would be to look at this dot up here and make sure it's on this red line, right? And so it's over here, not centered, not centered, centered. All right. Turn the grid off because it's horrible to look at. Um, and then I got animation. So we're going to make the credits go. Let's go. Look at the bottom. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, animation. So I'm gonna make sure when this starts. Again, I'm gonna have to center this. It's gonna be all the way down here, and it's gonna be off the screen. There you go. And when the credits end and position, they're going to be all the way up, right? So they're going to scroll all the way up. Again, they're centered. Make sure they're centered and they're off the screen. So done. Great. I've got credits. They're going to go super fast because it, it, look, all that movement's going to happen in like whatever this is, five seconds. So you can see what that looks like right now. Or however long it is. That's too fast, right? I can't really read that. Um, I'm going to zoom in here. Um, if I hover over this, it, it'll tell me eight seconds. So if I want to slow that down like half speed, you know, I'm going to then make this like 16 seconds long, right? Something like that. Right? Same movement, double the time. So that would be um, 16 seconds. Get over to 16. Doesn't have to be exact. And then just let's see what the movement looks like. That's okay. You know, I wouldn't want it any faster than that. I'm going to slow it down even further. I'm going to pull this out to like 20. And check one more time. I like, I like it. So just watch it. See if you like it. Um, I'm going to double click on this. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to zoom back out here. Uh, so I've got the credits. Um, visually, it's just going to look like video. fade out. And then this, so I might give this like a couple second separation. So this can just fade out to your video. And then the credits start. That looks about right. Um, now I want some music, right? Because you don't want to just watch those credits with no music. So I got Nature Nurture. Here it is. Here's the deal. Um, I don't care about the beginning of the song. I'm going to cut it off. I really just want... Let me just go find the end of the song. Let's move this over. Because I want the end of the song to sound good with how the credits are ending. So let's just see what this would look like. So but that's kind of where the song ends, and I want uh, that noise to end when this gets off the screen. They're really close right now. I'm going to just zoom into this. Um, but that means I'm probably just going to move this over a little bit. Let's watch that again. And this is very much like a, a taste to feel. And then I would kind of want, this is just going to play black space because technically this is still the audio track and you don't really hear a whole lot. I'm going to shorten that up and then I'm going to fade it out 
So audio level, I'm going to really just, there's just like a, a ring that dissipates there. So I'm just going to make it dissipate quicker. Let's listen. That's great. A couple extra seconds after the end of the film. Um, it's great. So here is a lot of audio I don't want. I want to cut it somewhere in here. Just the audio selected. I can just go over and split it and select this part and just delete it. So what I want to happen is I want the audio to be a full volume about the time the credits start. So I'm going to put a dot there. What I want to happen before that, <clears throat> excuse me, is I want it to fade in, like barely noticeable. And then I want it to really kind of ramp up pretty quickly. So to do that, you're going to put a series of markers on here and start bending the line. I like to think about this as like bending the line to get something that almost looks like a, a curve. The only way to do that with straight lines is to have a bunch of points in here. Unfortunately, I cannot make this um, track any larger. Yeah. Oh, it's regular, maybe large. Yeah, okay, great. So go over to the large one and then you, it's just easier to look at all this. All right, let's see before there's any music. And then right when it plays, the music will start to fade in. And then as this fades out, uh, it'll really ramp up. So it'll be full volume as the credits start to play. This is just theory. You really have to play it at this point and keep tweaking it and playing it again to uh, get it to a place where it feels right. How to use the reduce noise feature, uh, both super important to your video. Okay, that generally looks okay. <laughs> that, that music's pretty uh, loud, uh, aggressive. Um, I'm not sure that makes a ton of sense, uh, especially in something like this. So maybe I'm going to ramp up, but rather than going up to hundred percent volume, maybe it's going to really be at like, let's say 60. That means I'm coming over here and grabbing this one, bring it down to about the same. And if you're off by one or two percentage points, you'll never hear that. All right, let's try it one more time. Use noise feature, uh, both super important to your video. All right, we good. I like it. You've got some text in there. Remember, I didn't spend a lot of time formatting this text. So you see it's like all squashed together here. You don't want that, but for the sake of this video, make it a little shorter, not format that in front of you. Um, take your time with this. It really polishes the film. It, you know, that cinematic feel of music at the end is, is super important. Plus it just gives texture to, you know, thinking about the film you just watched and seeing these like names uh, about who created it, who appeared, like what songs have I listened to, any dedication, those kinds of things. Um, good luck.